Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, we are featuring another episode shot in Senegal, guest hosted by Tony Vaca. And this episode features Baru Sal, who is a longtime member of Baba Mal's band. And Baru plays the Ngoni. Uh, it's a special Ngoni called the Hodu, which is a type of banjo. And he is an incredibly, a true master of the instrument. And you can hear a lot of really amazing nuance in his playing. I met Baru when I was in Senegal back in 2013, and we recorded there. And one of the pieces that is at the end of the show is a piece from my CD, Super String Theory Goes to Senegal. And uh, so you can check out how we're working together on that piece. This video was shot in Senegal by Paul Richmond. My name is Tony Vaca, and welcome to the World Fusion Show. Believe it or not, I'm sitting here in Senegal, West Africa, and I'm here with one of the most revered and amazing players of the Hodu, and this is Barusal. Welcome, Barusal. My name is Barusal. My name is Barusal. Uh, I was born in Doom. And I was, I grew up there. Uh, big names here in the music industry. Uh, yeah, uh, like Baba Ma. You know world music, you know Baba Ma. Baba Ma is truly one of the treasures of the African continent. And next thing you know, he sees Barusal. Wait, what's the story? You started playing with Baba Ma. How did that happen? My name is Yad Baba Ma. When Baba was playing like the Dandelion, it was of the scenes. Wait, wait, Dandelion, yo, what exactly is that? That's Baba's, like, that's Baba's group. Yeah, the group is named Voice of the People. So if you're trying to get a feel for where this fits, this is both revolutionary kind of chit-chat and spiritual journey all rolled together. So, we're talking Podor. Podor and Zoom. Podor and Zoom are the same. Side by side. Got you. Okay. So, Baba Zoom no matter. So, even Baba grew up in Zoom. Okay, so now we're getting the real story. Yes. Now we're going deep. The, the Hodu. Everybody wants to know about this instrument. How, what is the story of Hodu? Hodu is mom. Yalla def na... Right, the Hudu was spread by the Salami Giro people. They called the Jare the people, and they were from the ethnic group called Bamba. Bambado. The Bambado. Bambado, not Pull. Well, the real Bambadi people are the people. Are the people, are the people. These are, this is a nomadic group of yes. people yes. who are just below the Sahara Desert and they're known for being nomadic cattle herdsmen. Yes. But I would have to also add, they seem to have their, their heart and their ear to the land mm -hmm. and they live in such, I don't know, graceful harmony. And look at the instrument, it just comes right from the land right. and he makes the music, it's magical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you gotta be in a technical, you gotta be in a material field. It's like the wood that you that you build the that you make the food with is it's called bear. Well, bear, no? It's called the way you do it, of like bear. It's like the Fulani people, whatever they live, you gotta make sure there's a bear tree living with them. Uh, Seems like a uh, cow skin, right? Okay. This is like sheep skin, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, I in the very beginning, they were using like the like the tail of the like the horse, right? Like those strings. Yeah. They were using it to make these strings. So originally for a spare string. Yes. A little bit like a violin. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the tuning of this is really a god. It's, it's a gift. Like you know, you don't know. Like if you like a hoodoo player, you just know. 
you know. Abu Kar, right, Adja? We so, just know. Yeah, you just know. So you see, there's no, there's no, nothing to turn things around. Right. You know, no keys. No keys. No. It's all by ear. Yeah. And the way, the way he changes the strings is by pulling the by leather pulling that holds the string. Thank you. So, so you when you know, you know. <laughs> if you don't know, you can't be in the club. That's right. <laughs> oh, I love that. Right. But when you play with sweet people who come along, like Carlos Santana comes along, he's got his guitar in tuning. Mm -hmm. How does he know how to know how to tune with Carlos Santana or anybody? One in 98. In Wembley. My Carlos Santana Jr. And then Carlos Santana oh. and, and Baba, they played there. Oh, I wasn't kidding. I knew he played. He played. I didn't just say that being a wise guy. I knew he played with Carlos Santana. And Carlos Santana right now is somewhere telling everybody he played with Baba Sal. <laughs> He's no fool. He knew what he, Carlos knew what he was doing. Also, just for the viewers of the World Fusion Show, you all know John Sheldon. He's a guitar wizard. And John Sheldon came to Senegal and played on the stage with Baba Mal and Baru Sal. Wow. And right now, there's John Sheldon telling somebody he's played with Baru Sal. You say, when Baba first signed with Island, right. they were looking for this kind of music, like this kind of blues. Right. And it happened that that blues music is what he was playing was something like similar right. and different because it was coming like a flammy like a background and this was like really much of this whatever they were looking for so he was like right in the middle of that so it had to be like you know all over the place well, everybody who pays attention to this tradition of music knows that the blues really came from here. This this tuning is the real roots of blues. Right. And uh, you know, it's kind of well known when, when there's been these conversations. Whoa, how did all these folks in Africa know there are blues music? No, no, no. How did you in America catch on to the gift we had, man? And I'm not making that up. That's a that's a real conversation. Blues. It's like blues, you know, really comes from like in the type of music called Ngaru. Ngaru or Sama? Ngaru or Sama. So Barasa, you see the world, the world knows you. What does the world look like when you leave home and go out into the world? Well, how do you see the world now? So my Galilee, when I'm from here. It's like, <laughs> like a guy like Tony who played a lot of different instruments and have a collaboration with a lot of people that play a lot of different things. So the fact that he's playing with you guys, that is like a spot for him to discover another, another world. Really. And for us, yes. back, it's the same. Willy, Willy, John and Dali. It's like, you know, I don't know how to say it. They write, they write, they write, <laughs> so you say that's the reason why all this food is played for this generation. No. They know that this guy has it. And you know, with what he do. So he's known for that. Right. And most of it comes from just traveling and meeting all different people and have an experience to just, you know, link up these people and try different things. This is why I'm sure when Derek Jordan said, Tony, when you go to Seneca, be sure, don't just say hello to Baru, please. Let's bring him to the World Fusion Show. And so, Baru Sal, Tony Vaca, and this is Mamadou and Jai. Now, Mamadou has a whole story of his own. Oh, wait a minute, you've already seen it. His group, Kofi System, has been on the show, so nobody else. So it's Baru who's the brand new guy. Right. We're just helping tell him the story. But this is Baru Sal. Baru, why don't you sort of take us out of this section? We'll listen to some playing, and then we'll watch some video, some film of Baru playing with Baba and who knows who else, because he gets around. <laughs> Senegal, 
means Derek Jordan. Thank you once again for joining us on the World Fusion Show and uh, for this great episode featuring Baru Sal, the Hodu player, and on location shot in Senegal by uh, Paul Richmond, who did the video, and our wonderful guest host, Tony Vaca, who has been with us so many times. And I want to thank our sponsors, uh, the McKenzie Family Charitable Trust and Dean's Beans for their generous support. Thank you so much for joining us. We have lots more great shows. And remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.